Minasan konnichiwa, and welcome to JT's workshop, where we take a look at all different kinds of skills and crafts. Now, I'm starting out without an intro today because when filming this, I actually had a problem with the microphone and I didn't have it plugged in properly, so it didn't work. But I'm just going to do a voiceover to explain for the first half of the video because eventually I do figure out about the microphone. So sorry for any uh, audio quality issues. But here you see I'm setting up the warp for a loom. So the threads that go along the grain of the fabric. And there's actually a whole story behind this thread because this thread was actually previously set up on this loom and I was going to make a big long fabric with it but I messed it up so it got very tangled up it was a huge disaster but I got the yarn and I figured well I have all these like bits of yarn it's like all tangled up but I managed to separate them into the individual threads uh, and though I didn't have like a like a like a ball of yarn or anything to get from it, I do have this like big long bit of yarn that I can pull from, so I can still set up and salvage the yarn instead of throwing it away because the fiber was pretty expensive. This is uh, Royal Alpaca, so it's very fine fiber pretty expensive I didn't want to just waste it but here we're using it so setting up the heddles excuse me not the heddles I'm setting up the warp and getting on with it and I hope we can make like a bit of a scarf with it instead of just throwing away the yarn and so far it's going so so far it's going well measuring in eight inches which is what I'm So now we have set up a warp 8 inches uh, wide and now we're going to wind it up. Tying it off to keep it all together. And now we take it out and start winding it. Now this is the point before where I am really messed up because I allowed the pin at the end to slip and the yarn all got tangled up with itself. And normally that wouldn't be too big of a problem but in this case I hand spun the yarn and it hadn't really relaxed fully so when the tension was lost the threads kind of twisted into each other. But I didn't have that problem this time and I managed to set up the end of the warp thread and now it's looking good. Fibrous, so there's a lot of fiber sticking up here get caught on other yarns. Now here's me trying to weave with the newly set up warp, but I am having some trouble here. I'm just using a piece of scrap yarn to get it started, but as you can see right now, the threads aren't separating. We have the heddle set up, but when I put the heddle into the down position, every thread goes down. That's because the threads are sticking together. See in the up position there, even then, the threads are holding on to each other and it's hard to get the shuttle through. I have to really take a lot of effort to weave it through because the warp fibers aren't separating when the heddle is supposed to separate them. That's what the job of the heddle is. So it looks like I'm going to have to redo it all again. With the problem of the threads not separating, I just can't weave this whole fabric. And the problem comes from the heddle. 
it's because the heddle has many threads per inch and when you have it like that the, all the threads are close together and that's why they're sticking together I have too many threads so I'm going to have to do this all again but this time with a with like a wider heddle not wider but with less threads per inch so instead of this heddle which is 15 threads per inch I'm going to have to set up the loom with a heddle of 7.5 threads per inch I don't have any other heddles right now but maybe eventually I'll try out uh, another size but it is a shame that I have to waste more yarn here and we're losing more length of the scarf as we have to go through this process again so it's unfortunate but if we want to use this yarn we'll just have to make do with what we have here we're tying it off and now we go ahead and use this yarn to repeat the process This has been exhausting. I've just been redoing all the warping and I don't even want to do it anymore. I'm so tired, but this isn't really something that I can just like pack away and finish later. Like it's taking up room here and yeah, I just got to finish it. So yeah, it's going all right so far and I think it should turn out all right though. We've lost a lot of length on the scarf so it's going to be a little shorter than I had wished. But that's just what I'll have to deal with. At least the yarn's going to be used. And yeah, I'm fully confident now that if everything goes all right, which not everything has been, then I should be able to make a scarf pretty soon. It's all done now and it's looking a lot better but I'm so tired I'm just gonna have to take a break for today maybe later on today if I feel better I'll get the head all set up but for now I got to clean up all this yarn and just make sure that I'm uh, ready to work on it later hello it's another day and today we have all the warp set up now we just had to figure out what we're going to do about the heddles because as you know we have a bunch of like shorter lengths of yarn whereas usually I would have like a whole roll of yarn and I'll just wind this up a lot and then you know get to weaving but here since we have such short strips of yarn I'm not sure what I'm going to do because I don't want to have to keep winding this like every like few uh every few like repetitions of the loom. So I'm thinking like maybe I might want to just figure out a way to tie them together. But then if I do that, then, you know, you have a bunch of little knots in the fabric and I don't really want that. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out whether I want to have the yarn just kind of hanging out on the sides on the selvage and then I'll have to go back and trim it or if I want to figure out some way to connect the yarns together so that it's just a continuous weave. So yeah, I'll figure that out and then I'll get back and hopefully I'll have something figured. All right, so I put some scrap yarn in place and wove it. And now I think I have something that might work. So I just took a few strands and just kind of overlap them on here. And that isn't the most efficient, but 
we aren't really working with the maximum efficiency here because we're just salvaging a bunch of scrap yarn. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. The tension is making it work a lot better than, um, than the 15 dot per inch heddle. This one is 7.5. So there's much more distance between the threads. They aren't getting stuck on each other like before. And also it just works very nicely. There's a very nice separation of the threads. So no problem weaving it at all. And it makes a nice pattern where the weft is more prominent because there are less warp threads. So it isn't pushing the weft away from each other. So it's a very nice tight weave. So I think I'm just gonna weave this through and when we reach the end of each strand, I'll just have it overlap and it'll be a bit cumbersome, but that's just what I'll have to deal with. So let's give it a bit of a try here. Where did I go? Up was last time, so let's go down. Oops. It's been a while since I've woven, so it may have to take a while to get back into the swing of things. But once I do, then it usually goes pretty fast. Okay, so I've been weaving for a little while now, and I think I found a satisfactory way of loading the shuttles. I just do a bit of a uh, bit of knotting at the top to like secure it in place and then I wrap it around and then once I reach an end I just kind of leave it here but then I wrap another thread around the same way so that end is kind of secure so, and then once I start weaving as I deplete the thread when it reaches this end the one below it is now uncovered so I can grab it and then keep going and I just kind of overlap the threads on here. But I've been getting a lot of problems here just because the yarn isn't very good. I mean, this is some of the first yarn that I've spun. So yeah, I mean, you can see like a big slub here, but also uh, the biggest problem is the warp threads breaking because some parts might be too weak. And then when I put a lot of tension on it, then it breaks. And that's a big problem like for example here you see this thread i actually didn't even notice because it was on the bottom i just pulled it up here but it was on the bottom and i just kept on weaving so now i'm gonna have to weave this manually through these threads through these weft threads and then i'm gonna have to tie it off over to here um, where the other end is which i didn't even notice so yeah i'm gonna have to do that and it's turning out a bit thinner than i thought it would but it should still be fine also we lost another warp thread on the end but i think i can integrate that in in the same way that i'm doing this okay we're at the right point now get this through all right well I really got into a flow state there and yeah used those two heddles up and now I got another one loaded and looks like we're in the final stretch this is the end of the warp and we're right there so yeah let's finish this out I really got it going better. Um, I wasn't using as much force to to hit down the weft and I think that's great because before I was being a bit too rough with it but now I can, I'm a lot more efficient, a lot faster just because I'm more used to all the motions required.
忘れたよ。Yeah, let's call this the last one. This is the final weave. Though I could probably get more if I were to un take all the threads off of this, but no, I think this is good. All right. Well, this is it. Here you'll see what I've been doing. So I twist this, then I get the next two. Then I twist those. When I put them together, then together they twist in the opposite direction. No, it's like this, a uh, tie. And do that all the way across. I'm gonna start at this end. Well, that's it. That's my first big spinning, weaving project that I've completed. So, yeah, I think this is just a good time to reflect on how much work this took because it didn't even start with the video. Bef even before the video, I already spent hours and hours and hours just spinning there, standing there, <laughs> spinning the wool by hand on the, uh, on the drop spindle. So this just took so much time. And plus the weaving and setting it up and the trials of the loom not working well and having to go through the learning process. Uh, I really thought that I had completely wrecked the project. I was trying to make an extremely long piece of wide fabric and then the, all the wool got tangled up and everything and I managed to save some of the yarn and make a scarf and then something got messed up there so now I have even shorter of a length to work with so in the end you know it's not it's not a very long scarf it would, should have been maybe a little longer um, but I worked with what I had and yeah we did end up saving that yarn and using it for something instead of just letting it go to waste so I'm very satisfied with it and well looking forward I definitely think that I have better skills than I did at the beginning of this project and I'll definitely be able to keep going and make better things so yeah thank you for coming on this journey with me arigatou gozaimashita